Welcome to Ibo History TV. Please kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. Turn on the notification icon. For more updates. Today we are going to talk about the origin and history of our people. Afi Igbo, the Igbo heritage city. Afi Igbo, natively known as Ehu Igbo, with the title of Omake Ejale, is a town at the west banks of the Cross River in Ebony State, northeastern Igbo land. It occupies an area of 164 square kilometers. Ehu Igbo is bounded to the east by the Cross River, and to the west by Amasere, to the north by Akpoha, and to the south by Owana and to the southwest by Eda, in Afi Igbo South. The town sits on ridges, thus has a hilly terrain. Afi Igbo was the headquarters of the Afi Igbo division of Ogoja province in the colonial days. This division had comprised the groups in the southern part of what is now Ebony State. Afi Igbo became part of Old Imo State in 1976 after creation from the East Central State. It was one of the divisions that compromised the old Abia State when it was created from Imo State. It became part of Ebony State in 1996, following the creation of the state. History Ehu Ibo Town derives its name from Ehu Ibuku after the ancestral warrior figure Ibuku who had met the Aboriginal Egu and Kalu groups including Ebiri, a small group of echoid people. Afi Igbo is the anglicization of Ehu Igbo, with the interpretation of Ehu Igbo by some as Eho Igbo. It could be possible that the word Afi Igbo would be a misspelling of Afi Igbo, Afo Igbo. The Igbo is both translation of Eho Igbo. Afi Igbo itself is a name born by some Igbo. Famous Igbo historian Adiela Afi Igbo Hairs from Okigwe, south of Afi Igbo, where excavations of ancient iron and pottery works had also traced human settlement there to the Neolithic age. Incidentally, there exists an Ibuku town in Anambra State, and like Ehu Igbo, is a center for ancient Igbo civilization, as revealed by excavations. Ehu Igbo is an important historical and cultural center in Igbo land. It is also notable for its progress in agriculture. The people are traditionally farmers, and their fertile soil produces yams in commercial quantities, rice among other farm produces. Excavations indicated that Afi Igbo had been among the earliest of the Igbo settlements, as evidence is revealed that the caves and ridges in Afi Igbo had been used as dwelling places in prehistoric and historic times, dating up to 5000 BC. The ancient town of rich Igbo heritage is home to beautiful festivals maskings and dances that have become sources of pride to the Igbo people. It is also has rich sand beaches by the banks of the Cross River. However, these tourism potentials are undertapped. Afi Igbo today has grown. It is the headquarters of the Afi Igbo North local government area of Ebony State. It is the second largest urban area in Ebony State after Abakeliki, the state capital. Sadly, over time, the indigenous class of pottery, carving, weaving, etc. have declined due to modernization. Although a significant population still engages in agriculture, it has declined with time as in many other areas in southern Nigeria where agriculture on a subsistence level is done. Many Afi Igbo sons and daughters have taken up professional engagements and entrepreneurships, and the impact of these successful people have been felt at home. The population of the town is growing with migrants coming from other parts of the country into the town. Afi Igbo town, however, needs more attention, better planning, and modern infrastructure to become a modern urban area. Also, the tourism potentials of Afi Igbo needs to be boosted. 
it ought to be a center for traditional and cultural pilgrimage for the Igbo people. Apart from the beauty nature has bestowed on the town and the cultural and historical richness, Afigbo has beautiful people too, who are very hospitable. Ehubo Makejale, Igbo town and cities, Akorola, changing the narratives about Igbo people. Afigbo Ibo Nindoma, Dalunoro.